வணக்கம் நான் உங்க டாக்டர் ஆஷா வினன் பேசுறேன் from US stating that she was other language patient uh, I think uh, she was speaking in Telugu and uh, she complained me that we have a group of uh, people's moms uh, who have been labeled autism and uh, we are seeking your help and attention but we find so difficult to communicate with you because of language issues we are not even able to understand your uh, way of treatment or what you are guiding we don't have subtitles like that I said we can use Google translator because I feel so comfortable and confident when I speak in Tamil as well because uh, I want to reach only I, I, I thought in the initial stage I should reach every Tamil home, every people uh, like the Korean Pungundranar who stated that Yadum Ure Yavarum Kele Illa Makkarum Yen Makkale Every people around the world like birds like um, uh, how birds doesn't say that this state is my state, this country is my country, this people are my people Everyone around the world or our people, everyone or my brothers and sisters, every Tamilian have the same motto that we always state that uh, every people around the world is our, our, our people. So I want every other human who just uh, have a child should understand my language. Uh, at least once in a while I have to post a video in English because a person who is in this line, you know, right now, uh, ma'am, I'm not going to show you uh, your camera is towards me. We can just say it in your language what was your request because a uh, group of people from her gang they came last two days back and she requested me like anything to post a uh, video in English uh, on behalf of her and uh, she now insisted me even ma'am you can say to everyone around the world what you want to say to me. So, I have follow up updates So, I have to follow up updates to the Telugu. So, I have to updates to the Telugu. Thank you so much, ma'am, for understanding our problem. I have subtitles to the request. Google Translator is videos only content. अंधके माँ प्रॉब्लम आर्डर चेस को नहीं तानो तेलुगुलो राहत का बंटी लाइक इंग्लिश लो शब्दों ने अनुमान को सम थैंक यू सो मच मैम थैंक यू थैंक यू मैम आई डोंट अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट यू स्पोक बट आई कैन एवरी अंडरस्टैंड समथिंग यू हैव सेड व्हाट यू हैव कॉन्वर्स थैंक यू सो मच एंड सो काइंड ऑफ य I hope it will be helpful for your group of uh, people in that, uh, what to say, that group, WhatsApp group, you know. Okay, ma'am, uh, let me now continue the video. I'll give it to your brother, okay? Thank you. You can, you can wait in line or disconnect, ma'am. Let me explain that. Uh, first of all, uh, see, autism is that in which it might be genetic. Genetic causes or might be because of corpus callosum A genesis or any chromosomal abnormality. Those child or genetic cannot be cured. The child which has genetic issues like chromosome abnormality or coming, coming under any syndromes or else like uh, genetic agenesis of corpus callosum. Corpus callosum is a portion which is connecting two parts of your brain in between and giving what that is responsible for understanding everything. Uh, there is a detailed uh, issue we can discuss in some other videos. So absence of corpus callosum is genetic autism. In that I can't do any justice. But what I have found in my experience of past 16-17 years is that every child which is born, which is exposed to much of mobile screens or else iPads or TV, you know, uh, they gradually, every child is born with mimicry talent. A child just imitates what they see. You can see in villages and all, you know, a child will imitate like a grandmother walking like this granny. Uh, they will uh, cough like that. They will imitate like that. Child does like, you know, a dog, if it is uh, giving birth to a puppy, immediately it start to bark. A, a mother dog won't teach for one year that you should bark like this. As well, even, you know, a uh, uh, cat will say meow. Everything, animal sounds are gen uh, born with that. They are designed with like that. Even after that, they no need to be taught. A crow will say ka ka immediately after it is born. And uh, after it is hatched, you know. Like, not like that a human. A human child needs to be taught. Every child born in England won't call mommy. Every child born in Tamil Nadu won't call amma. It is to be taught. Child brain is, a child is born with mimicry talent, that's all. 
every child has to imitate it should be repeated that's why every child watching you know much of tv mobile screens or anything uh, they will come for an advertisement they will run towards tv they won't speak they won't we will have a doubt that is my child having ear, hearing issue they go and check with their bearers like that they go for hearing aids like that and they, they then they get confirmed no it is not hearing issue my child is able to run for advertisements it runs for songs it gets fear child is born with fear of sounds fear of falling down that is genetic every child born have that you know but that should be how to say a uh, later period of a mother should teach see certain things are involuntary like every child born head fixing will happen at three months that is involuntary every child born it will start to uh, turn around at five months that is involuntary that is an instinct inside every child will have uh, that uh, if, if you hold uh, a new born child first six months you know, if you keep your hand like this finger like this it will hold we have to take like this that is involuntary that is a child has normal brain we can understand that child's activity is normal you know when should a child have eye contact when it will have a social smile when it will have a group play we don't have it. parenting has not been taught so far in any specific video this is the normal milestones like so every doctor they might explain the abnormality but normal thing we should be also taught so that we are, we can confirm ourselves that whether we are growing a child normally See this. This what I thought when I become a mother. No, I was searching what should be the normal thing. There was no such explanation. Every Tamil child is taught that you should teach in g, in g. That you know, if you want in g, put it here. That means, do you want to drink milk? We will state milk as in g. So that in g, you know, you, even a deaf, a dumb child, a physical challenge child can shout, can make a noise, can't speak. That you know, once it. it starts comes from this vocal cord that noise you know so the child realizes that i can't speak if you even if an autism child if you start make them center speech therapy if they start to speak they only whisper amma they they show mouth lip movement but sound won't come but they shout the reason is they don't have confidence that that sound they are producing for to make them realize you have to teach that in g that sound that that is a common thing this is a basic thing for childhood what we are doing later what you know what what mistake it happens is every mother who wants their child to eat you know they they think the child is not eating properly so they introduce mobile phone first time at their one to one and a half years to just make the child to eat i have seen i have posted a, uh, even a post that every mom who shows mobile to make the child to feed the child after few months fails to call their mother as mom has been labeled autism until one year one and a half years the child will be very normal it will talk it will it will uh, come for father's bites so i will give them uh, father's mobile to father mother's mobile to mother it will crawl it will do everything it will show wave its hands like bye every every other normal child like the child will be there until one year until one and a half years mother will never realize that my child has an issue at one to one and a half years they will just post learning videos like a b c d some rhymes mother will think that a child should grow very well it should learn something it should they they think that they are not showing bad thing the mobile using is bad so what they do they download some videos take it in pen drive and connect with the television and they have to show the television they think that mobile is radiation so tv is no issues what do i say is as like a child <clears throat> runs for an advertisement initially we think that advertisement comes for short time it gives a high it is somewhat louder so people think that uh, it comes for that few minutes of that enthusiasm the child comes no it comes because it hears infinite times it is repetition see every child can speak immediately after its birth but we need to repeat call amma 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 we say half thousand infinite times a child grasps that memorizes it and repeats at 9 months or 10 months or 8 11 months so it should be repeated for everything so people we might get even confused should we teach all the words in this world infinite times to learn to speak no need all that we have to make us we make should make a child to think see teaching is robotic what if we should teach a dog 
to come and uh, pee, pee here, to come and poop here, you should uh, get your food here, you should sleep here, this is your place. Animals should be taught. All that we have to make is a human child to think. If you start teaching, you, know, you can't finish teaching the entire universe. <coughs> See, if you say pen, pen, pen for three, four months, one day a child might repeat it as pen. If you start to recall it, revise it, after two to three months, the child will forget. If you ask what is this, it will again forget its name as pen. Because it is mugabing. You are teaching your child. You have to make your child to think. Take the pen. Come on, take the pen. If your child be right, every time if you repeat, if a child thinks that, oh, this is pen, and if you take it once, you no need to repeat, you no need to revise, you no need to recall. Even after a few months or few years, if you say, take the pen, it will take on its own. So, my request is to every parent around the universe is, don't teach a child, make your child to think. Teaching is not complete. You know, if you make your child to think, our, our work is done. If your child will start to think, and it will learn on its own everything. What all it sees, okay? So that we do the mistake. The mistake first starts is exposing to screen times. And even grandparents will misguide that. Your husband talked, uh, started to talk at five years. Child will speak late. See, in those days, even a parenting was not properly done. They didn't teach us properly. They just let the kids as such. There will be seven, eight children at the home. They won't teach anything. Child will see the elders and speak. If a single child, you know, they will go to school, they will see other child and learn. They were not exposed to mobile or screen times. So they were, they were not labeled autism. But now they are exposed to screens that their mimicry talent completely evades. It vanishes. The child becomes like a, a what to say, it sees every object is non-living thing. It doesn't connect with the entire world. It, the child which calls mama, the child which cries for mother, the child which cries for mother going outside, you know, that stops, it gets isolated. During this lockdown time, you know, 2019, every child was exposed to TV. So the screen time might affect the child's imitation skills, mimicry talent. This was what I learned. See, I don't go for any classifications like Winland or cars or anything which has been already designed because all those classifications, they evaluate the child and finally they come to the conclusion that this child is either autism or ADHD called Attention Deficit Hyperactive Disorder or Learning Disability and they just at the conclusion they say, no medicines, you have to go for therapy. Go for a therapy, or occupational or speech. I say, therapy is okay, go for occupational or speech therapy. But certain things I don't agree, I, I go I disagree. Like I go to, I'm going to state the symptoms as well. Um, what what do I say is I, I learn from my patients, I learn from the child, I take a record, uh, I form my I form my own questioners. That I'm going to teach you now. You know, uh, you, you might see every child seeing like this. So I thought uh, actually seeing sideways they, they they say do I exercise? But I came to know, I learned and I did homeworks that every child seeing like this, why don't they might have double vision? So I learned what was the, what was the cause for double vision? Double vision might be because of uh, continuous egg, or to say, becoming eyes, becoming dry eyes. Is it that much common for dry eyes to cause double vision? Well, that is every other child might have dry eyes. A child has been exposed to screen those many hours. So I started to give medicine for, uh, what to say, I thought give carrots, give uh, papaya, give spinach, give, give moringa leaves. Uh, other than that, what can I do? So I searched medicine for double vision and I found that uh, there is few medicines in homeo for double vision. So I started to give those children. You know, those children who were seeing like this, they started to see like this. See, if you see like this, I see this pen as two. If you see like this, I see this pen as one. So, see, one the unless or until a special child come and say to you that I see just two, you can say it is double vision. No special child will come and say, <clears throat> I see it as two. Only the symptoms can say. After that, I, I found few kids coming from other countries, they came with a report of double vision. I have that Xerox copy of the patient. I have asked a request for a mother. She is from UK. And the other one is from US, I think. I request her, once your child double vision becomes normal, if you get a report like that, I am treating her because for double vision you have, for screens you have only patching. 
See, squint, you know, when you develop from your birth, everyone says that squint, don't go for surgery, go for patching. But I say they have intracranial pressure, they have some nerve abnormality, they have some accommodation issue. That's why the eyes are just like that. So I treat the cause. See, according to me, what I'm saying is how I interpret those symptoms. I treat the cause. I don't treat the child or the uh, symptoms. I treat the as I treat the symptoms as well. Uh, how to say? I don't treat for this label names. I treat the cause and I find the cause. Then only I, I treat the complaints. You know that is my way of treating a patient. Okay. Uh, other thing, you know. Uh, that the squint, global developmental delay, cerebral palsy, that is entirely different from the so-called labeled autism child. See, every child who, who, is, who has sucking reflex, sucks mother's milk, who have normal milestones, who have uh, uh, normal uh, eye contact when they are until one and a half years, after one year or one and a half years when they are exposed to screens, if a doctor say they are autism, it is incurable, Kindly don't go with that idea. As a mother, I'm saying, not as a doctor. I am mother of two children. I say a genetic autism child will not have sucking reflex or uh, will not have eye contact or will not have uh, this reflex. See, until six months, they will have this reflex. After six months, if you keep your finger, if the child needs an object or needs, that, uh, needs your finger, it might hold or it won't hold. This is under normal milestones, you know, crawling, even every other child should crawl. I'll make it two part. This part I'll finish off with this introduction. Then, then next part we'll let's go because it might take much more time if I go with the explanation, it will take two to three hours. Um, in that, you know, if a child starts to crawl, what other mothers do, you don't know. They will wear hand gloves, they will wear socks, they will wear kneecaps. They will say that every child should crawl, every child should have that knee darkening to get their bones strengthened. When the child will uh, roll around, many many autism parents have said to me that my child, my son is everything normal except crawling. It's sad, it directly walk. I said that when the child will crawl, if the pen is away from its vision, you know, if it turns around, if it wants to reach this, it will crawl. But if you expose the child six months to eight months, if you put a rise in front of you, if you put a screen in front of your child, your child will not have any necessity to go and reach this object, that object, go and touch that one, go and pull this one, make a home a mess. It won't have any issues. It won't have a need. It won't have a need to go and reach its goal. So that child might not crawl. Unless or until you stop your screen time, you might not realize that your child is having these symptoms. Until then, your child will be very quiet. If you feed, it will eat. If you dress it, it will be good like a doll. It will sit properly. Once if you stop your screen time, when you will stop, you will, unless you realize that, if I crawl, if I call, I'm sorry, if I call, my child is not responding. If I call Asha, my child is not turning back. At that time, you will realize that your child's response has been reduced. That will be around two to two and a half years. Or some two years. That time you will stop your screen. Only after stopping the screen time, you can realize that your child is running meaninglessly here and there. You will realize that your child is self blabbering. You will realize that your child is having self talk like singing rhymes or talking some uh, stories, what all they have heard since past two years. Then you will realize that your child is having a hand flapping, restlessness. Um, Sexual abusers like keeping hands in their private parts, even mad thinking of fun uh, video or vision, anything they will have action. They will have they will use their hands in their private parts. Everything you will realize only after the moment you stop your screen. Until then, you will see your child as normal child. You will only realize when you will go off for function or anything. Your child is hyper running here and there. Child is calm and it's running. Until you stop, you won't realize that. Okay, let's stop here because it's a detailed version of this entire uh, uh, like labeled autism, how the child goes into the phase, how it develops, how we have to train them, how we have to teach them. I'll go every step by step so that it will be easy for every mother to learn everything and uh, to teach. As like I should thank my uh, ancestor Kanyan Pumbundana who said 
ಯಾವುದು ಪೂರೆ ಯಾವನು ಕೇಳಿ ಎಲ್ಲ ಮಕ್ಕಳು ನಿಮ್ಮ ಮಕ್ಕಳೇ ಲೈಕ್ ಬರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆನಿಮಲ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಮದರ್ ನೇಚರ್ ಸೊ ಎವ್ರಿ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ಬಾಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಅ ಓನ್ ರೈಟ್ ಟು ಎಂಜಾಯ್ ಟು ಲವ್ ಟು ಸ್ಮೈಲ್ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ಆಂಗ್ರಿ ಟು ಈಟ್ ಟು ಎಂಜಾಯ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ನೇಚರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಓನ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಶುಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಪ್ಯಾರೆಂಟ್ ವಿ ಶುಡ್ ನೆವರ್ ಫೈಲ್ ಟು ಮೇಕ್ ಅ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ಟು ರಿಯಲೈಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಐಡೆಂಟಿಟಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಟು ಲಿವ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿಲಿ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಯುನೈಟ್ ಅವರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಮೇಕ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಎಡಿಸನ್ ಟು ಬಿ ನ್ಯೂಟನ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಲೈಕ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಆಶಾ ಟು ಎಂಜಾಯ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಓನ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಓಕೆ ಲ